Hello, everybody. Welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm your host, Mark Fusco, here for another episode of the show. And um, in keeping with Sommelier School, which should be up tomorrow, and uh, since today is Wednesday, yeah. All right, so Sommelier School should be up tomorrow. Uh, we are going to do a wine from Sicily. And I'm using iMovie and the iMac because I just finished. Um, you guys had to watch this. Uh, I just finished doing... Uh, Skype interview, video Skype interview uh, with Mike James from 8-Bit Vintners, um, Player One. You, you've you got to get this, seriously. All right, so I hope I can tell you the same thing about this. All right, so um, Sommier School is Southern Italy, Sicily, and Sardinia. So um, when I was out, I knew I was going to be doing that uh, soon. So I went ahead and was looking for a wine from Southern Italy, Sardinia, or Sicily. And I ran across this one. And uh, since I really don't know or didn't know very much about Sicilian wine, other than I knew there was Marsala and I knew there was uh, uh, Nero Davila, Davila um, and that was it, you know, Corvo, whatever. I saw this and said, well, let's check it out because I had no clue really what it was. All right, so this is the Fuero uh, Arancio uh, Grillo. From Sicily, uh, and it was. Uh, this is also the 2006. I thought it was a non-vintage, but actually it is vintage. Um, so 2006 from Sicily, and it's a uh, got it from Specs for seven dollars and ninety-five cents. Uh, it is a 100% varietal of, of Grillo, and uh, we will check it out. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but it's it's kind of a really dark color there, and um, I don't have the light on very bright, so because uh, I didn't want this to be pff, shining like it did on the. Oh, I didn't start that. <laughs> That's okay. It started there, so we're gonna adjust that there. There we go. That way I can see what's going on. Anyway, I forgot that iMovie has a timer. Um. So anyway, uh, you can tell us it's a little bit darker. As far as the a white wine, it's not. It's uh, almost really golden, and we'll check it out. So um, I'm getting kind of that. Um... Sorry, Don. Want to hear Don's ringtone? Anyway, hold on. We're we're, we're... hey, dude. Um, I'm recording. So let uh, me call you back in just a minute. All right. <laughs> I just played your ringtone too. <laughs> All right. Anyway, uh, just because I want to do it. So um, you know that the like in a cantaloupe, and you know like the, all the pulp where all the seeds are, you, I get that kind of a kind of that stinky smell. So it really reminds you of kind of like a Sauvignon Blanc. Sometimes I mean I know Sauvignon Blanc supposed to have like cat pee and all that, but um, it kind of reminds me of some of that. Um, or other Mediterranean white wines, like um, sometimes the Rene Barbier, which we reviewed like months ago. Still like that wine, by the way. It's like four bucks now at World Market. I mean, come on. How can you like a $4 bottle of wine? Okay, you can. You can not like one. So I get that. I think I get a little bit of pineapple to it, so I'm getting kind of that kind of a tropical fruit thing. So it, it start it, it's for me for for what I get in the bouquet and from what I've had in the past, um, it's starting off pretty good. I have a good feeling I might like this wine, um, and I'll explain why I'm a little bit not wasn't really sure how this is going to be because uh, I was kind of afraid that I might not like it. And, and maybe not smoke, but but there's something like that to it, something muted. So we'll see. Right, let's let's taste it, see how it is. Hopefully, it's really good. Mm. Okay, it's really acidic. But it's not like 
focus. It's not like really tight. It's kind of just all over. I'm kind of getting some pepper, some green pepper out of it. Um, it's it's pretty acidic. It's, it's really biting. It probably would benefit from being chilled. Um, again, not that it really matters because remember that's the surface area. But it's been open for a while. Well, a little bit longer than I normally would. I've had it open for four hours. About. I was being... I thought I was going to get this review done before the uh, Skype interview, but that didn't happen. I'll be honest, I think the bouquet is better than the palette. But it's opening up some more, and, and I think it's pretty decent. Um, for eight bucks, I think it's pretty, it's pretty cool. Uh, they say there's... Characteristic bouquet of nettle. What's nettle? Green pepper and jasmine. Mm. I don't get any of that really on the on the uh, on the bouquet. Though uh, since I am in front of the computer, let's look up nettle and see what that is. Nettle, a common name for flowering plants. Hmm. Okay, who knew? Now we know it's a it's a flower, and I've never I have no idea what nettle smells like. So maybe that's what I'm getting. Um, you know what? I would say score wise, I say it's, it's not bad. I'd probably give it like eighty four. I'd probably give it an 84 and suggest that it's refrigerated just a little bit. It doesn't need to be ice cold, but it definitely needs to be cooler. So, anyway, uh, that's going to be it for today. Make sure you check out Summoning at School tomorrow. Worst case is out on a Friday, but it should be out tomorrow. All about Southern Italy, Sicily, Sardinia. And Friday's episode with uh, Mike James from 8-Bit Vintners. Uh, great episode, and I was really excited to do that. As always, click the links, sign me up. See everybody again next time.